what is up guys got another video for you guys today got the rear cargo mat for the JL the one that folds with the seats uh, order for, straight through the dealer so that way you don't have to pay a ridiculous amount of shipping on the website but here's what it comes with it has uh, the two rear parts for the seats the actual part for the uh, cargo area are your little pieces you're gonna need to insert and then your IKEA instructions that don't have any words so uh, let's get started all right guys so the first step actually is to slide the uh, cover for the cargo area back uh, you just pick it up and pull it back and that way you have a clear view of the uh, bottom of the Jeep so this, for me it'd be the red spot right uh, the next step is to cut holes in the back of your seat. There's 10 holes that you have to cut in, but you're gonna cut into five holes on top and five holes on the bottom. Uh, once you cut them, you're going to cut off the excess and put in, uh, put in the clip. holes plugged in you're gonna put in the rubber mats that go on the back of the seats uh, they should just clip in So with the rear cargo mats put in, or on the back of the seat, next step is to take your gap cover, or your trench cover, and cut out the five, excuse me, this five circles right here. You cut them out, and you're going to replace them with the two clips that come with uh, the kit. So it'll just go on like that. Up and over like so. on the back of the seat. You're going to put back in the trench gap cover. Um, the instructions that says to put in the bracket, uh, I already had the bracket in. I don't know if that's normal for other uh, models, but at least on my uh, leather seated Rubicon, it has it. Um, so, you put this in here, and clip it right in. And you're good to go. Now you just have to put this back, slide this back in. And now you can put in the rear mat. And just like that, your installation is complete. Uh, Here's how it looks on the back of the seats when they're up. 
and you can easily move this up and down out of the way so you can still get into your rear cubby area um, I think at least for this little spot right here where it's kind of a uh, flopped up it'll fix itself with being in the Sun so that should be fine uh, eventually I'm gonna get the trail management system uh, so that way when I go on road trips with the dogs, you know, uh, with, well, there's three of them right there, but we have six. So we, one of them needs to be in the kennel when they're driving because it gets too stressful for her. So we'll put it back here and have the trail management system set up over there. And it should be nice for her. And get the tailgate table that goes here for camping and actually having a work surface for cooking. But that'll come later. Um, here's how it looks when you put down the seat. I don't know, maybe that'll fix itself at some point. Uh, maybe it's just getting used to it, I don't know. But, we'll see. Um, with the dog sitting on here, it should be fine for them. Uh, it might get a little hot. Uh, I might have to figure a solution that for that for them, so that way they don't burn their paws after a day at the beach and having the top down um, but yep that's uh that's the Mopar cargo mat for the JL uh, hopefully it works out pretty well uh, for what I need it for and at least it's better than nothing right now but uh, if you guys have any other questions uh, leave them in the comments below 